Alright, these are your rock cycle doodle notes. They're going to go in your notebook as number 14. So um, make sure you have this worksheet. It's at the station. If not, it's in a folder in the back. So there's three different types of rock. Okay, there is igneous rock. There is sedimentary rock. and metamorphic rock. Okay, so let's first, let's talk about the formation of sediments. Remember, um, weathering and erosion, that, that has a lot to do with sedimentary rock. Okay, so weathering is going to go here. Weathering is the creation of smaller pieces of rock through physical or chemical means. Remember, there's physical and chemical weathering. So weathering actually is a part of the rock cycle. Then erosion is the moving of sediments from their original position. Okay, so this is all kind of a review as we get into the rock cycle. So the next one is deposition. the settling out of sediment. All right, so the next two processes that we're going to talk about is compaction and to cement something together. So cementation, okay, is the process in which sediment is squeezed and glued together into a new rock. All right, so um, remember this is a cycle. So this stuff changes. Rock is constantly changing. So the different types of rock really depend on what process did they just go through. All right, so let's start with igneous rock. Igneous rock is created from the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. The rock's crystal size depends on how quickly it cools. All right, so let's look at sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is created from the deposition. Remember, that's when rock is deposited in a new location of sediments, and sediments are the small pieces of rock in layers over long periods of time it often contains fossils. We'll talk about fossils in a later unit, but know that fossils are contained in sedimentary rock. So all those little, those rocks that show all those little pieces that have been pushed and squeezed together, that's sedimentary rock. Okay, so then if you apply heat and pressure, you can get metamorphic rock. Existing rock is subjected to very high heat and pressure. This usually takes place deep underground, so within Earth's layers. All right, now metamorphic rock can get turned into sedimentary rock from weathering, erosion, and deposition. So remember, this is a review. The, everything we learn is connected to each other. So um, weathering, erosion, and deposition actually help create sedimentary rock because weathering is going to break down those pieces of the metamorphic rock and then erosion is going to move them, deposition is going to pile them together, and then that pile of sediment then gets squeezed and cemented together to form sedimentary rock. Okay, sedimentary rock, um, when it is melted, so from melting, it can turn into igneous rock. So igneous rock can turn into sedimentary rock through weathering, erosion, and deposition. Igneous rock can turn into metamorphic rock through heat and pressure. And metamorphic rock can turn into igneous rock through melting.
Okay, so let's go through some <laughs> let's go through some examples. Okay, now some of this you may not have heard before, but you're going to see these examples of rocks. Okay, so shale is one. All right, limestone is an example of sedimentary rock. All right, um, marble. And nice, uh, pumice is an example of igneous rock, obsidian, and granite. Okay, so examples of sedimentary rock, shale and limestone, metamorphic rock, marble, and nice or nice. Um, igneous rock is pumice, uh, obsidian, and granite. So remember that after you finish writing in, you should shade in and color and make these notes pop off of your page, okay? That's part of your notebook grade. But go through and maybe talk it out with yourself. Okay, sedimentary rock, when it gets melted, it turns into igneous rock. When igneous rock gets heat and pressure applied, it goes into metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock breaks up. Go through the cycle. Notice that the arrows are pointing both ways in both directions because they can change into each other. Remember that this should be colored and completed and put in your notebook as number 14 rock cycle doodle notes.